So this one is a lao sao, hun sao lao sao, means that you don't stick to the other person's arm, right? Because the whole purpose of for you to do that is to come around to the outside. So you don't, right? So same thing with the tan sao, when you do silim tao, you do the tan sao. Same, same thing, that you actually get away. So because he throws a punch, right? So I want to get away, right? You don't stick to his arm because he'll slow you down, right? But when you do the fuk sao, it's different. Fuk sao, you actually have to push this arm, right? You have to push this arm, right? So all this is to move your arm from one side of the opponent's arm to the other side of the opponent's arm. Can you understand? It's so all about mobility, right? Your arm's mobility. You throw a punch, so he push, right? He push, push, push. So you move from arm in one side of his arm to move to the other side of his arm. Right? Mobility to move, right? Okay? Same thing when you do the tans out. You want to go to the other side, same thing. That you, you don't stick to it, right? You go away from it, right? So let's try this one first, right? Right? Try, right? So to avoid, and then also you cover the elbow when you come around. Then you control this elbow. You, you, you're back in a very good position, right? So you go from here, punch, hun sao, Hyun gyo, right? Same time. Punch. Hyun sao, hyun gyo, right? Right? Punch. Right? Now, I notice some of you are moving on your heels. Landing on your heels. Don't land on your heels. Land on your, the ball of the foot, right? Punch. Then you are very free. Once you start landing on your heel, you're very flat-footed. Right? So punch. Punch, right? So you go from here. Right? Right? Okay? All right.